So your home has been pre-wired for an alarm system. Um, maybe you've got a traditional system in place that you want to replace. Uh, maybe your home is new construction, which is my case, and you're looking for a smart alarm system to install yourself. Ring retrofit kit paired with the ring alarm, of course is what we're going to be looking at here. So the Ring Retrofit Kit is the only kit for a modern smart alarm to offer connection to traditional door and window sensors. So my house can pre-wired for an alarm and I really wanted to take advantage of, of this wiring so I don't have to go you know, glue on these um, little sensors that, that Ring sells, which are great, but Let's take advantage of, of our pre-wiring with, with something that's more, you know, embedded uh, in these doors and windows. So that's what I'm going to be looking at in this video. I'm going to show you how to install that. Uh, first of all, you need to be aware of what pre-wiring means. It might be a little bit different for each case. So in my case, the pre-wiring literally just means pre-wired. There are no sensors. There are no panels. Uh, nothing, just the wires. And they come down to my master closet, which we'll look at in, in just a bit. And there are some kind of faux, they look like sensors on the windows, so don't be fooled by these like I was. Uh, I'll show you here. They look like this. Um, this is not a sensor. You may think it is, uh, and hopefully, you know, your house might actually have some. But in my case, if you pop this off, it's literally just two exposed wires that are not connected in any way. There's no magnet, nothing. Um, here's one that I pulled off the other window. It's just a plastic casing to show you where the wires are. So I'm going to be installing the door and window sensors in this video as well. So uh, first things first, get the exposed wires out of the window. Gonna just cut this out with a knife. Uh, make sure you're not removing an actual sensor. I know that mine is just a plastic cap and I need to install a real sensor, which I bought on Amazon. Like you can get like five of them for 10, 12 bucks. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. I'm gonna get this out here. There we go. So there's the wires. It looks like one, but there's two little wires in there because it does the loop up through your attic and over to your master closet. I'm just going to strip these back a little bit. What I'm going to do actually here, now that I've got both the wires exposed, is just twist them together so that they make contact and I can check the continuity in the master. Um, how this will work after we actually install the sensor, the two wires will go in one in each hole, and then a magnet will actually cause them to have continuity, and then when your window opens, break the contact. So let's twist these together just for testing purposes and go check out the closet. All right, so we're here in my master closet and we have pulled out the wires for the alarm. Uh, this is the pre-wiring. These are, each of the white wires are the zones. Uh, I just twisted together the window with the zone for, for my office. And I've gone through here with the continuity tester uh, set it to ohms of resistance. There's a proper range that is approved by Ring as compatible. Check that out on their website, uh, or they have a YouTube video on it even. I'll post it in the description. But basically we want to go ohms of resistance and then grab a couple of these exposed wires. Touch it to each end here. You can touch these. It's not a problem and I see that I'm getting a reading of 2.6, 2.5, uh, 
um, you'll see that if you're not getting a reading, which I just pulled it off, it'll say OL for open loop, open line. Uh, when you touch it back, you should get a reading. Um, there's a bunch of zones here, depending how many doors and windows you have in your house. But uh, you'll, you'll basically just have to do some trial and error. So you'll probably try you know, several of these until you find the one that you twisted together at the window or door or whatever uh, for testing purposes. But I'm going to label these. Uh, I've already done a couple of them. I just added a label actually for the office. And I'm going to go back to the office and install the actual magnetic sensor. So uh, we'll be back here later to wire up the retrofit kit. But this is how you determine which door or window goes to which line uh, when you when you wire it up to the retrofit kit. So I'll see you back in the office. So back here in the office where we twist the wires together. To double check, you could uh, leave your multimeter connected and disconnect these and see if it goes back to open line. But uh, basically now we just need to wire this. So we're back in my master closet. We got the sensor wired in there and I was just doing a little test to make sure again that I have the continuity and then I slightly opened my window and saw that it breaks when the when the magnet moves up which it's supposed to do. So things are working well and I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same process on my other windows and doors and then I'll catch you back here at the end when we actually wire up the retrofit kit to the zones so that ring can monitor them. See you then. Okay, one thing to be aware of, dual windows that are close to each other like this, they'll have two sensors, but they may likely go to just one zone wire in your closet. So watch out for that. What that means is if either of them open, it triggers the uh, zone, the single zone. So I just want to show something here. Uh, this is just a high powered magnet I got on Amazon. A couple of my doors actually do have a magnetic sensor in them. It's just a little, it's behind this weather strip actually, but if you could see it, it's just a little plastic circle thing. Um, you can actually buy these on Amazon as well if you want to. Uh, one of my doors doesn't have this and I'm just going to use the actual ring stick on sensor, but I just want to point that out. You may watch out for those because it could be as easy as putting a magnet on to complete this one. All right, I've got all the zones in my house attached to a sensor and got them all labeled here. So now I've just got all my zone cables. I'm going to cut these off at the end, clean them up because I've been doing a lot of trial and error finding which zone is which, cut those off clean. And then since I don't have an existing alarm panel up here to have to deal with, I'm just going to put the retrofit kit, which you should have. Just set it up uh, following the instructions in the app and bring it to the location where you're going to use it and it tells you to push this little button here and if it's green it means that you're within range uh, if you're out of range don't forget that the kit comes with a range extender so uh, plug that in somewhere in between your alarm base and this before you get too worried about you know being too far away so I'm um, green I've got all my zones set up with the magnetic sensors on the windows and doors and now I'm actually going to try putting this right over this hole so it will look pretty clean. And then I'll come back and connect it and we'll check that out. Alright, so got the wires all cut off and cleaned up. 
got the retrofit kit over the hole, uh, which turned out pretty nice. Still got the wires coming out. And I went ahead and set up one zone. So basically, you just take one of the wires and put it in a numbered slot, and the other wire and put it in a common slot, which is marked with a C. So I, I did that, screwed them in here, and then you just go into the Ring app and uh, set up the zone. You go to the setup for your retrofit kit, and it'll say, like, open. Uh, I thought maybe I had done something wrong, but it just says open. So I actually went to the window, opened it, and it registered. And then when I close it back, that basically completes the setup for it by breaking the signal and, and reconnecting it. So I'm going to go ahead and wire up the rest of these, and we'll see if it all works. All right, got everything wired up, looking clean. I've tested each of the zones and it is working. So I'm gonna put this on. We're done.